Hi, I'm Vanel with Photo Focus. While I was in Chicago for the Out of Chicago Conference, I met up with Topaz's very own, Greg Kostami. Now, Greg is going to share a story on how he used a photo taken by Levi Sim and turned it into an amazing portrait using some simple tools inside Topaz. Sit back, relax, and enjoy a story from the set. How you doing, bud? Good. Hello. Great. Hi. Now, we're wrapping up the uh, Out of Chicago conference, yes. and you've been working hard at showing a lot of people Topaz. Yes. Right? Now, that's how I first met you. Yeah. At different trade shows. The man's incredible with what he does. In fact, your story from the set's going to be a little bit different. Normally, we have photographers going out on locations, and that's their set. We're working in the studio. That's their set. Greg's set is a computer. And what he does with images, just it's absolutely amazing. Now, our future, or our mutual friend Levi Sim took this beautiful portrait of you. Yes, he right? did. So talk to us. When you look at an image that you want to convert to a painting, what are some elements you look for? Yeah, one of the most uh, crucial elements about converting photographs into paintings, you know, using, for example, our Topaz impression software, is that if the photo starts out with having the art direction that typical paintings have. Like for example, old paintings were lit by the light from a window. So that's really important. If you have that kind of light, then it just kind of feels like a painting, you know? A um, couple other things that are critical about the way that a painting looks like a painting is that there's no depth of field in a painting. And so everything essentially is in focus. Gotcha. So painters would use either fading the colors in the distance, you know, either by things that are darker or even like haze to bring the subject into the foreground and to add some depth into it. So, gotcha. you know, those are the kind of things that you know, in typical photography, you know, you want depth of field, you know, bouquet. But when you are trying to create a painting, that's not necessarily what you might be after, you know? So for photographers, if you want to use Topaz as a painting tool, yeah. Put that stuff in your mind first. Yeah, right? yeah, now, exactly. Let's let's take a look at your portrait. Yes, that, uh, Levi did for you. Yes. What did you have to do to convert this into a painting? Well, what I ended up doing with it was um, when Levi first gave me the photo. What I loved about it was the expression that was on my face, the the, the fact that I was holding a deck of cards in my hand. Um, but the photo, you know, I wanted I wanted to be able to clean up my skin a little bit and just do a few things to really bring out my eyes. So I used a few of our Topaz software products to help me do that. So I used products like our Topaz Clean for the face. I used our Topaz Detail for sharpening the glasses and the eyes. Uh, and of course, even Topaz Denoise in general, I use it just because if there's a little bit of noise. It's always great to use denoise to get rid of any noise. You know? So once that was done, then Topaz Impression, I had to uh, break the image down into two layers. Because one of the things that I wanted was, I wanted to really have it feel like a painting. Now, if you just simply take a photograph and you use any of the very soft settings in Topaz Impression, then even though it still looks like a painting, it's too close to a photograph. You know, you don't gotcha. get that feeling that's a painting, you know? And so I knew that I had to do that, and I wanted to do that with the parts that are from my arm, my hands, my shirt, and the background. So I wanted that very harsh kind of painterly feel for those areas, like a very thick kind of oil paint. Gotcha, gotcha. But I knew that I couldn't do that for my face because it would just look like very, very hard, and I didn't want my face to be that hard. And that's why the real secret of using Topaz Impression is that when you bring your photo into Photoshop, you just make two layers. So for one layer, you apply this very heavy oil paint effect, which makes the face look terrible. Gotcha. Okay. And then when you apply that effect, you hit OK. That's one layer. And another layer where you have, of course, the original photograph, you go back into Topaz Impression, but this time you apply it in a very soft way, right? Gotcha. So you've got these very, very soft brush strokes. Right? So what's nice about it is that the face looks great, but now for background. my arm and the background and everything else, it just like looks too soft. It doesn't really convey the feeling of a painting. 
So once I had those two layers in Photoshop, the only thing I had to do was rub through or erase from one layer to the other, just from my face. That's the only area I was interested in. And that's how the final image got produced. Yes, it's great, it's great, it's great. Now, you mentioned Levi had you holding a deck of cards. Yes. Our, my, our buddy here is a phenomenal magician. Absolutely phenomenal. Thank you, thank so, you. So, and, and <laughs> some of the stuff he has just looks like black magic. You always freak out when you do it. <laughs> so you. that's what actually, when I saw this, because I know you, Wow, that's an incredible portrait and a painting because it does have the cards in there yeah. representing you. Yes. And then, of course, the painting you converted it to, that's your expertise with Topaz. So, yes. But, hey, Greg, thank you so much for sharing thank your tips you. with us. Thank I you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. So, well, I'm Vidali with Photo Focus. <laughs> Thanks for watching.